Hello, friends. Okay, as always, when you pop on, go ahead and click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner. And then I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So you can find everything right here at rayahopebeauty.com. I'm gonna pin it right there. And then when you pop on, go ahead and let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. And then if you've never watched one of my tutorials before, go ahead and hashtag newbie in the comments so I can welcome you. And I'm gonna share this to my other pages. One is called Beauty by Rhea Hope. So make sure you're in that as well. And then I'm sharing it to my actual Facebook too, which is Rhea Coleman. So if we're not friends on there, make sure that you click that follow button so we can be. And then when you also pop on, there's three little dots up here in the right-hand corner. You can click those and it'll give you the option to turn on live notifications. So Facebook will actually alert you when I go live. And lastly, another thing that you can do to make sure that you don't miss out on a beat is you can text my little subscription service thingamabobber that I have. And it's super easy. All you have to do is on your phone, like a text message, you're going to send the text, Raya Hope, all one word, and you're going to send it to the number 8 three three six one I'm gonna type it right here so you guys can see what it looks like but you're not gonna do this on Facebook you're gonna do this on your phone eight three three six one and all you're gonna say is Raya hope all one word just like that on your cell phone and that will just automatically opt you in to receive my notifications and don't worry I don't bother you don't spam you I just tell you when I'm going live or when something brand new pops off like the spray foundation comes in stock October 1st. So I will obviously send a direct link for that. So it'll be super easy if you've been wanting it. Um, so make sure that you're in that. So again, 83361 and all you have to say is Raya Hope. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. Yay, awesome Jenny, I'm so happy I could help. Um, like Bill, awesome, Indiana, Connecticut. Hi Robin, yeah, you got here on time. Delaware, Orlando, Virginia. Awesome. Hi, Jade. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Sunny Florida, Washington. Awesome. Iowa. Nice. I am doing very well. Thank you. All right. So like I promised in the beginning of the month, I was going to start going through all of the liquid eyeshadow colors. So I will have a tutorial on each color. So if you're not sure which color you've been wanting to gravitate towards, um, we've almost done them all. So today we're going to be doing the shade Willed which is this really pretty like rust brownish red, which makes your eyes pop, like super duper pop. Yes, I did order a liquid, or liquid, I did order the spray foundation today. Um, it was available to presenters for today only. So I got mine. So I should be getting it in the mail in like three to seven business days. So as soon as I get it in the mail, don't you even fret. I will be on here live showing you how to use it, tips and tricks, you know me. Awesome, Ohio and sunny. Whoa, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay, hello Angie, thanks for being here. Yeah, you almost have all eight colors. They are so good. Hi Paige. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna be doing Willed and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing the very last color, which is the shade Egotistical. So this one's like a really fun, like bright color. So if you love really bright, fun eye looks, make sure that you tune in tomorrow as well. Yes, we do have a bright pink lipstick color. Um, you'd probably like the shade Sunny in the liquid lipsticks. Otherwise, you guys can always private message me if you're not sure like what to grab or what colors or anything and everything under the sun. I would love to help you pick out whatever you need. So just shoot me a message. Um, if you need to be color matched for the foundation, which you're definitely going to want to after you see the coverage today if you haven't seen it yet, uh, message me a selfie. All you need is to send me a picture facing a window, just like having this light shining towards you. That's the best for color matching and that way I can give you a full recommendation. Oh, she's so sick. I hope you feel better, Lisa. All right, so now we're just gonna jump on in. So we're gonna be using the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace today. And I'm gonna be using that on my powder concealer brush, which is this guy right here. I love this brush. I love how quickly and evenly it applies my foundation. This is my favorite way to first start going in with my foundation because like I said it just gets it on there really quickly and really evenly you guys see this look at how just the redness just completely disappears so if you struggle with redness or you struggle with discolorations or uh, dark circles or whatever 
you were trying to hide, this foundation has your back. It's so, so good. And it can be built up to being full coverage or you can use less of it and get more of a lighter, more natural coverage with it. Just, it's totally up to you and how you apply it. So if you're not sure um, how to apply it to achieve the look you're going for, you can always message me and I would love to help. It's big clips. I score these at Walmart. They're like a dollar. I'm using the shade Lace in uh, the Liquid Touch foundation. And in the uh, new spray foundation that releases on October 1st, you're gonna be the same color you are in the Liquid Touch. So if you weren't sure and you wanna start planning that out, definitely be sure um, to know what color beforehand. So if you need to be color matched before that launches, again, October 1st, message me. I can't give too much like recommendation and tips and tricks on it yet until I personally try it. Um, but I should be getting it like fairly soon. The makeup smells good. Yes, it does smell really good. I think I'm that color. Awesome. Love Washington. I also love your earrings. No, these are actually from Walmart. <laughs> They're like $2. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. So now that we have the coverage beginning to get on there. So now I'm going to go in with just like a little bit more. I did like two ish drops because we're just doing like everyday coverage. So I love full coverage. I love feeling flawless. I love looking like a porcelain doll and I love that it covers everything. So I go in with about maybe like seven drops of the uh, liquid touch. And now I'm gonna go in with my damp blending buds. And I'm only gonna do one side of my face so I can really show you how crucial these blending buds are to achieving really, really flawless coverage. So you're just gonna bounce this off your face just like this. And again, you're gonna wring it underneath water before you use it. And that's gonna make it damp, which helps to kind of smooth out the coverage. And it also helps to prevent it from eating up a lot of your makeup. So it actually prolongs the use of your foundation. They said, we same color. Yes, says your liquid. Is the new spray foundation going to be offered in the kudos? I don't know, I have no idea. They don't ever tell us. It could, it could not be, but either way I would be prepared October 1st, uh, I believe 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, it launches and it will sell out. <laughs> they say it won't, they say it won't every time and it always does, so just be prepared. Um, and if you don't know what like your winter shade is or your summer shade, you can always private message me and I can color match you for anything. The blending buds are only $17 and you get two. You get the large and the small. They're so important with flawless, smooth coverage. Again, you can, now I'm gonna pause because I did one side of my face. So you can see that difference. See how this side of my eye, you can kind of see that redness showing through. This side, none at all. Already can see how it hides those dark circles and look how much more smooth this side, cheek, this side looks versus this side on my cheeks. I mean, granted, I have like a little bit of foundation to blend in, but you guys see how smooth that is. It really, really makes a huge difference, especially if you have a lot of fine lines or a lot of um, like larger pores or just you struggle with your makeup just settling on your skin correctly. The damp blending buds go like hand in hand with that. Yes, these blending buds are like my favorite and they last for a really long time. My last ones that I had lasted me for almost 18 months and I wash them once a week. All right, so you're just gonna bounce this off your skin and always bring it down your neck. It's beauty, yes, these are from Unique. So these are gonna be a little bit different than like your everyday beauty blender or ones that you would find at Walmart or Target or Ulta or whatever because they're made from a different material. So they're a little more dense when you get them at first and you're gonna think I'm crazy for thinking that these are incredible. But once you break them in, which only takes like a time or two of putting your foundation on, you are gonna never, you're gonna never know how you live without them. They are so, so huge. Good. Yay. Hi, Kelly. How do you wash your blending buds? So I use this bar. It's called Zote, Z-O-T-E. Get out Walmart. It's like a dollar. And I just ring, like, I use it as like a washboard almost. Just going back and forth over that. All right. So now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. So this is the Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Velour that we're using today. And I'm just going to warm it up in between my fingers like this. And now we're just going to tap this on our under eye and this is going to just give us a little more coverage. You can also use it if you struggle with any other discolorations anywhere else on your skin or um, blemishes or anything like that. But look at how this just like takes our coverage up a notch. So I always bring it like up and over my eye, it acts kind of as eye primer and then up and over my nose. So if you struggle with redness, this also is incredible. 
for hiding that. Now less is more with our concealer because it is very opaque, meaning you can't see through it. It's really kind of a thicker consistency, which is incredible for hiding things. But if you use too much, you can feel like it looks heavy on your eyes or wherever you use it. So just keep in mind less is more and always warm it up in between your fingers really helps. Yes, it would definitely cover tattoos. Thank you. What this smell weird? What smells weird, Anna? I missed the other part of your comment. The Kudos was delivered. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so now that we have our basic coverage on, now we're gonna set everything. So who out there has oily skin? If you do, click that little hard emoji. Oily skin girls unite. <laughs> Hello, awesome from Alabama, Nova Scotia, awesome. Welcome guys. So I'm using the shade Velour in the concealer. Um, Megan, message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what uh, coverage to get to get like achieve like flawless coverage for yourself. From the UK, awesome. Waiting on the rest of my they should add the difference. Oh yay, I'm so happy for you. You're gonna love it. All right, so if you just click that little heart emoji and you have oily skin, this step is gonna be like skin changing for you, makeup changing. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can take just any beauty blender for this step. I like this one because it's flat. I got this at Walmart. And I'm just gonna use my setting spray and I'm just gonna mist my blending bud like that, just on top. Now I'm gonna use the uh, Touch Bowl Translucent Setting Powder and I popped the cap off mine, but it usually comes with this mesh plate. So if you don't have super oily skin, you're kind of combo, or you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, you don't wanna to use too much of it, utilize that mesh plate. It'll help you that you won't get a ton of product on there. Otherwise, you can pop it off like I did. So you're gonna take your beauty blender and you're just going to tap it into the translucent setting powder like that. And then you're just going to tap this on wherever you put on your concealer or wherever you find that you have a lot of um, movement with your foundation or wherever you're really oily. So for me, it's usually like the T-bone area. T-bone. <laughs> I don't know why I said T-bone. The um, T-zone. <laughs> so for dry skin, you would skip this step. You wouldn't really need this. Instead, I'm gonna show you another option. If you have dry skin or if you have um, more mature skin with a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and you don't wanna use a ton of powder, I'm gonna show you what you would do in just one second. So that's basically all you're gonna do is just pile that on. This technique is called baking. So what it does is it's actually drawing out the natural oils of your skin. So instead of it pushing against your foundation, it's absorbing into the setting powder. So instead of your natural oils making you look greasy or shiny, it's just gonna absorb so it's not gonna alter it at all. I'm gonna exchange my foundation. Sherry, message me and I can give you the, um, the link for the exchange. Uh, maybe. <laughs> T-bone does sound kind of good right now. <laughs> Do you use a lip plumper? Yes, I love our lip plumper. It's called Hottie Lip Plumper. It's going to be under the, um, the uh, lip gloss section under lips. Ashley, message me and I give you a recommendation for face wash. We have an amazing one. Yeah, my buds didn't smell. Any, they don't smell like at all. Nothing. No smell. Oily skin, so Liz, you'll love this coverage. Um, how often do you wash your brushes? Once a week. I find that once a week is like perfect. Cause then if you're like starting to feel cakey or you're looking like your makeup's just not settling right, it 100% could be that you need to wash your uh, makeup brushes or your blending buds or you need to exfoliate. I use our exfoliating face mask once a week and I really feel like that, um, that helps to kind of clear away any of that like dead skin that can pile up that we don't even really see until you use the exfoliating face mask, then you're like, wow, my skin feels like a baby's butt. <laughs> and then it doesn't um, kind of attach to your foundation or your concealer, which can help, which makes your skin look cakey. So if you're struggling with that, exfoliate more and wash your break, wash your makeup brushes more. Uh, no, my finger tattoos didn't really hurt. I don't smell either. That's strange. <laughs> Mature but oily skin. So for you, Athena, or for anyone else who has more mature skin, or if you have dry skin, you're gonna wanna do this step. So what you're gonna do is, again, take that dry beauty blender, and you're gonna take this product right here. This is the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder, and we're gonna use the shade Scarlet for this. So you're just gonna take that, and I just pop that on there like that. 
And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this wherever you have that oily skin or wherever you use that concealer. So I'm using the shade Scarlet, which is like two shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm doing that because I'm using it for highlighting. You can use your like true color if you didn't wanna use it for highlighting, just setting. And then you would just go over wherever you have um, the spine lines or wrinkles or wherever you are struggling with your makeup creasing. So what this does is it essentially does the same thing that the setting powder does, except it's just softer and lighter on your skin. The pressed powder by Unique which I'm gonna be using here in, again in one second, is so, so airbrushed. It's so good, it's so lightweight and it's so easy on your skin. So if you feel like, oh, I can't wear that, I have, I can't wear a lot of powders. You know, I have fine lines and wrinkles. That would be true for some makeup, but for this, not true at all. You can absolutely use this, especially if you're gonna apply it the way I'm gonna tell you how to right now. I put the new liquid eyeshadows on my eyelids, so I have to burn a little, is that normal? So you might just have really sensitive eyes, I would use the eye primer underneath it. Um, it's just the drying effect of the liquid eyeshadow. So yes, it can be normal for you. Um, I wouldn't be worried about it as long as you don't get redness or irritation. And if that's the case, call or email customer support and they will give you your money back. Like they, we have a love it guarantee. If you don't love anything for any reason, just return it. And I can help you with that too. I wash all my makeup brushes and blending buds with the Zoat bar. Get me the lip plumper. It's so good, Marie, and you love it. It's under, it's called Hottie, Hottie Lip Plumper. The blending buds are damp, but this one that I use for my setting powder is dry. Yes, it's like, <laughs> Zote from Walmart, exactly. Would you use it for older, have bags? Yes, absolutely, for sure, thousand percent. All right, so now to set the rest of our face and to give us that full airbrush, flawless finish, we're gonna use this guy again, the Mineral Touch Press Powder, but I'm gonna use it in my true shade, which is the shade Satin. So I'm gonna take it on this big kabuki brush. If you guys want the link to this, you need to message me for it. I will lose the comments here, so I can't go back and give you the link because you need to message me. So message me for the link to this guy. All right, so I'm just going to tap it into my press powder, and then you're just going to start working from the bottom to the top of your face. And then I always blend it down, so important. And then you're just gonna start to go upwards just like this. You need a lip plumper. It's so, so good, you guys. It gives you really like a long effect too, especially if you use it before you put on your uh, like lip liner. And then you can also use it kind of as a lip topper, like a lip gloss, because it is like a glossy finish. And again, that's called Hottie. Please share the link to the brush cleaner. Message me, Anna. Um, if you guys need any particular links or if you need anything at all from me, just message me. Because, I mean, w once I get off, the comments all like jumble about and I can't find them. And if I were to comment it, it would be lost as well. But yeah, message me. 100%. All right, so I'm just going to be tapping this all over my skin until I feel like I have the desired fullness that I want of my coverage. But you guys see how incredible this sits on your skin? Doesn't feel cakey, doesn't look heavy, doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup or feel like I'm wearing a mask at all. It's just flawless, full coverage, you guys. It's so incredible. So good. And then applying it with a big kabuki brush really, I feel like plays into it because it applies it very, evenly on your skin and doesn't apply it very heavy. Thank you, Helen. You'll love the brush. Yes, it's really, really good. Oh, yay, Robin, you got it. Does all that makeup make you too matte? No, it doesn't make me too matte, especially because we're gonna set it with our setting spray and because I have oily skin. My, the natural oils of my skin almost make it look even more flawless. So if you are very oily, you can use this entire routine and it'll be incredible for you. If you're more dry or if you're combo skin, message me and I can give you a recommendation on what kind of coverage you should get and what combo to use. So just shoot me a message. All right, so now for contouring. I know contouring can be kind of a scary thing, can be like really overwhelming, but not if, again, if you have the right tools. So what I would recommend is the tapered blusher brush. This does all of the work for you. It is perfectly designed and the perfect size. And then I'm gonna use the Beach from Bronzer. I'm using the shade Hermosa um, today, but you can use the shade Sa uh, Sunset is the name of that one. Um, and it's a lighter color. Not freezing, okay. I'm sorry, Paige, praying for your healing. 
Let me know if I'm freezing for anybody else, but if I am, just exit and come back in. All right, so now we're gonna pick up that product. So again, we just tap it into the bronzer, swirl it into the cap, and then just tap off. Now for contouring, super duper easy. All you need to remember is top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. So I'm gonna take this kind of horizontally and just dusting it back and forth like this. You're gonna turn and then just swirl it into that area and that's gonna soften it up so it doesn't look like you have a straight line going down your face, but it's just going to really accentuate the shape of your face. So contouring forehead, super easy as well. You're just gonna take that same brush do little swirls at the temple and then you just bring it down just like so. And then you're just gonna kind of stick to the outskirts of your face like the, the hairline. Don't go any further below your eyebrows though. So just stick up in this area like that. But see how it's already starting to really shape my face, make the center of my face pop forward and it really brings in your cheekbones and not, doesn't make you look so washed out. So this side of my face has no contour and this side does. See how subtle that looks? It doesn't look muddy, not dirty, not heavy. It just simply, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like getting so tongue tied. It just simply like makes your face look good. It brings up your cheekbones. See that difference? Click that little hard emoji, see that difference? No, I am super clumsy. I need to watch, uh, watch the bracelets. Can I get the link? Yes, Erin, I'm gonna go over all of my outfit details. I'm wearing these like really cute pants today over on my Instagram. So. Um, make sure you follow me over there if you're not already. All you have to do is search Raya Hope, which is pretty much how you can find me anywhere. You could search YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. All you have to do is search Raya Hope, all one word. All right, so same thing on that side. And then around the jawline, if you have skin that kind of droops downward just from aging, um, you can still accentuate your jawline, which will help kind of bring up that area. So you're just gonna go around the jawline just like that. And it's gonna make it appear that this line is firmer and not as droopy. So you can kind of bring up and kind of play around with the face shape. Contouring your nose, so easy as well. You're just gonna squeeze the brush and then run it down the sides of your nose. No, Karen, not yet. So just like that. All right, and then now you can build it up as bold or as subtle as you're wanting. Um, it's just all personal preference. I personally love a more bold contour, so I'll usually go over it about twice. You can do with your makeup. I know, isn't it crazy? You can totally change like your face shape. It's incredible. All right, so now for blush. I'm gonna be using the shade Supple today. This is one of my favorite blushes for just like an everyday, um, just because it's more of a peachy blush. It's not very bright, it's not very loud. It just kind of simply makes you not look like a zombie. So it gives you that color back to your skin and it also kind of brings up your cheekbones and assists with your highlight. Yes, we are getting very close. All right, so we're gonna be using the shade Supple, like I said, and I'm gonna use, use the blusher brush, which is like this angled fluffy brush. You're gonna smile. And you're just gonna tap this on the apple of your cheek, working closer to the contour and then work up to the hairline, just like that. And then now, see that difference? See how it totally brings up this side of my face versus this side. This side looks much more droopier than this. You see that difference? Click the little heart if you do. But just a little bit of blush goes a long way. And tips for blush, tap in, swirl in the cap. And that goes for Bronzer, blush, whatever you're using, eyeshadow, swirling it really separates that pigment and allows like it to be evenly distributed on your brush rather than just like tapping in, tapping on. Then you're gonna get a chunk of it in one area and be like, great, now I have to blend this all out. <laughs> so just like so, and I like to tap my blush on. Everyone's different, but I feel like when you swipe it on, it applies it a little heavier. So that is that, so that was supple. Isn't that pretty? I just love that it's like an everyday color. It's not super pink or red or even too peachy. It's just like a good flush color. Getting better contouring? Yes, absolutely. Practice makes better. I know, I know it is getting longer. Thank the Lord. Finally got you live. Let's watch your makeup. Aw, thank you, Christine. Aw, thanks, Norma. You guys are awesome. All right, so now for highlight. So highlighting is another thing that really, really matters with your makeup. It makes your contour look better. It gives you like a dewy finish. It just overall makes your skin look 
like dewy, glowy, pretty. So what you're gonna wanna do is take the Touch a la Mode Luminizer, it's just a fancy word for highlight, and we're gonna take the shade Lustrous. I'm gonna take this like fluffy brush, but any brush would do. Elf has a ton of brushes for really cheap. Um, for this step, it doesn't matter what brush you use. For the rest of the steps, it does. Maybe blush, you can use another one, but for contour and pressed powder, I highly recommend the ones that I've suggested. For this step, you can use any, any brush would be fine. So you're gonna grab that on there. I'm not gonna swirl in the cap on this step because I want all of the pigment. So I'm gonna put it on the tip and bridge of my nose, and then I might like push it into place on there and then we're gonna tap it like this on the highest parts of the cheekbone. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? Like I said, it gives you this really gorgeous dewy finish. And it complements your contour so much and it also kind of blends out your blush while you're going. So you're gonna kind of go over the blush area and so it's essentially gonna go highlight, blush, contour. Thank you so much. So for big pores, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you're applying your foundation with the blending buds, so important. And then also, it's really gonna matter about your, um, your pre-makeup routine. So for me, what I do is I go in with my Glorious Face Primer and then I do my setting spray. So I do setting spray, primer, setting spray. And I really highly recommend that combo because it, it just kind of, it allows your foundation to sit really evenly on your face and doesn't seep in all the pores, seep in all the fine lines and wrinkles. So if you're struggling with your makeup sitting really nicely on your skin, you could be needing to like up your pre-makeup routine. Highly recommend trying mine. If you have tried it, go ahead and shout it out in the comments. Let us know if it worked for you. Thank you. All right, so now that we're done with our face, now it's time to do our eyes and our lips. So I always do from top to bottom. So we're gonna do our eyebrows first. I take the Lash Brow Comb and I just comb through my eyebrows. This way I get all the foundation out. I lay the eyebrow hair down the right way. And then um, I also, it kind of like darkens up your eyebrows cause it removes all that makeup. So it makes your brow pencil go on easier. And then I always comb through my eyelashes. If you guys don't do this step and then you get upset that your mascara is not laying perfectly, that's why this really combs your eyelashes through, allowing them to sit like straight. So when you do put on your mascara, your mascara isn't getting caught or it's tangled. So if you just go straight through, then it really, really goes into play with how, um, how not like crisscross your eyelashes are. I'm a French presenter. Aw, oh, thank you. Did you see my comment about your lips? Are you using something different? No, but what was your comment, Nikki? I'm not using anything different. Uh -uh. Yes, absolutely. And everything I'm using and I'm recommending talking about everything is all available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you guys need any like recommendation or need any help picking out product, you guys can always message me. Perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do with our eyebrows is we're gonna use the brow pencil in the shade medium. And this, you guys, is so easy to use. It makes doing your brows very quick and very easy, which that is all I need, quick and easy. All right, so first I'm gonna show you quickly how I do it, and then I'm gonna show you the difference and why it's so important to do your eyebrows, especially if you have smaller eyes, more squintier eyes, or um, hooded eyes. You're gonna be like, yep, I need to start filling in my eyebrows. So, first things first. How fast was that? That was like two seconds. Your routine is game changer in the skincare masks. Yes, oh, I love it, absolutely. All right, so now that we've done one side, now I'm gonna show you that difference. So, doing your eyebrow versus not. See how this side of my eye looks like I have so much room for eyeshadow versus this side. Isn't that incredible? Really huge difference, click that little heart if you see that. Not crazy. So just filling in your eyebrows really changes the shape of your face. Not only does it do that, but look how much like finer and cleaner and not as messy as this side looks. Isn't that amazing? So, so huge. So now for application, how you do it. So you're gonna start where you have like all the brow hair and then you're just going to very light handedly take it back to the arch. Once you get to the arch, then you're gonna start taking it down through the tail and then where you have your tear duct, you're gonna go straight up and that's kind of where you cap off your eyebrows. 
and it really comes into play with how heavy you're pushing on your on your pencil if you're pushing super hard the pencil is going to look really dark on your eyes on your eyebrows if you don't want it to look really dark use a lighter hand so i'll usually use a super light hand right here in the front and then i'll get a little bit heavier of a hand throughout the eyebrow to make it look um, a little bit darker as we go because we want it to kind of look like that ombre effect just like that that's so so good if you haven't snagged this yet you definitely need to so I'm using the shade medium but if you're not sure what color to grab just message me if you're blonde or redhead um, you'll use the shade light but if you're similar to mine and you have similar brow hairs um, medium would be perfect yes medium so good on your lash line um yes if i do use um mascara on the bottom lash line i use the waterproof mascara so the comb is called the lash brow comb it's going to be under the eye tools on the website which right here is the website rayahopebeauty.com everything is there all right so now for our eyes we're going to use the liquid eyeshadow in the shade two uh no willed is the name of that so before I do any eyeshadow, I always go in first with this, which is the eyeliner. And this is in the shade Perfect, which is just like our black. And I put this on the top and bottom water lines. Now, if you have smaller hooded or squintier eyes and you're wanting your eyes to appear larger, I would not use a black eyeliner. I would use instead a white eyeliner, which is the shade Pristine. Or I would use a brown eyeliner, which is the shade Proper, which will give you more of a natural look, but it'll still give you the same kind of smoked out look. So. If you have smaller eyes, I wouldn't use this. I would use something, I would use another color. I missed the comb. Oh, I think I already read that one. If I missed anyone's comment, just comment it again. Keep commenting it until I see it. All right, so now for eyeshadow. So like I said, we're gonna use the liquid eyeshadow, but something that I've noticed with using that on how to get it to really like sit beautifully on your skin. And I always say, think smarter, not harder. So to do that, I have noticed that doing your pressed eyeshadows first rather than second really, really speeds up the process and allows you to get it on there so you don't have to spend all this time blending. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color right here, right there, which is called Astute, which is just very light brown. I'm gonna take that on my fluffy crease brush. And again, saw how I swirled. Now we're gonna take this color and we're just gonna very lightly brush it through the crease and the brow bone. So when I was talking about light hands with your eyebrows, the same idea goes for your eyeshadow. If you're choked up on your brush like this, you're gonna get your eyeshadow very dark and very pigmented. So if you want more of a lighter, more blended look, hold your brush towards the back. It's gonna make, it's gonna force you to have a lighter hand, which is gonna be easier in the long haul with blending. How do you get the liner off your waterline? The wipes. No, it it just kind of, when I wash my face, it, I think it comes off. But no, I don't like get in there with the, uh, with the wipes at all. Yes, the rose water is so incredible. So good. All right, so we're just gonna take that and we're just gonna start to build up that color until we like it. So that's good on that side. Now this is gonna be just like our perfect transition or like our base color. So something for technique that I always keep in mind is you're just gonna go rainbow in the crease and then zigzag through the eye, just like that. And that's gonna soften it, allowing it to not look like very, like, har like a harsh line right there, so where you have to blend it later. So zigzag and rainbows. Is it metal? Yes. It's like half metal, half like brush. Do you use the lip serum for your lips? I'm curious if they look so pumped today. They do. Um, no, I don't use anything on my lips besides our rose water at night. And then there is the Hottie Lip Plumper that's really, really good. So if you've been wanting more of a pouty lip, you can definitely snag that. It's under lip glosses on the website. My 40 flakes off, what can I do? Lisa, are you using it with the lash primer? That really holds it in place. It's like glue, awesome. So this is the color called Astute. It's like my go-to base color, just because it's so light, just this very light brown. So now that we've done that, now I'm gonna build up to the crease color, which we're gonna use the shade right here, which is the shade Gingerly. It's this like caramel brown. I use this color in every single eye look because it just complements it so well. Now we're gonna take this and notice how I'm keeping my eye like open because that's gonna force us to have like 
it's gonna force the color upward basically. So again, if you have smaller hooded or squintier eyes, this is a good tip for you to force your color up higher or to force your crease up higher. So we're just gonna swirl in the outside corner and then bring it in just like this, just like so. And then same thing on this side. So instead of doing that rainbow zigzag idea, we're just basically swirling and then bringing it inward, just like that. And don't be afraid of going too inward either because you don't want it to sit just on this outside corner like that because then it looks, it's gonna look silly. It's gonna look like you just stopped here and you're missing like the inward. So don't be afraid of going all the way in like this. What color did you use on your cheeks? I did the shades Supple in the blush and Lustrous in the highlight. Stiff brush, only metal on the lash side, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If I miss anyone else's comment, just comment it again. All right, so now that we have Gingerly on there, now it's time for the star of the show which is gonna be the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Willed. And now the liquid eyeshadows, the lash primer, and the 4D mascara all come in the kudos this month. If you're new around here, you know, what the heck is a kudos? It's basically like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. Um, this month it's awesome. So you get two of the liquid eyeshadows and then you also get the 4D and the lash primer and this purse looks just like a Chanel bag. So you get all of those. Uh, I believe for 80 is how much that one is. Yes, it is really good. Um, are you rolling your wand as you stroke up? Oh, that could be. Yeah, keep watching um, for the mascara application. I feel like that would help you. Thank you, it's from Walmart. All right, so now we're gonna take the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Willed, which like I said before, it's kind of this like rusty brown, which is really gorgeous. And we're gonna start here in the center of the eye and then you're just going to start building it inward Sit closer to the lash line, go upward, and then outward, just like so. Now, don't open your eye all the way, and then you're gonna take your cream shadow brush. So if you don't have this brush yet, highly recommend to grab it when you're ordering your kudos. And you're just going to use this to blend it out. So it's gonna even out the liquid, and then you're gonna use it to blend out. So you're just gonna kind of pull upward towards the crease with this and then pull it inward just like so look how pretty that is it's a very subtle almost like like a, ru a rusty brown is the best way to describe it it's really really soft and very pretty so if you have green eyes this would make your eyes pop uh, tell me about spray foundation uh, spray foundation launches October 1st. I'm super excited, but I would probably use it with the blending buds is how I plan to use it. So again, on this side, start in the middle, working your way inward, upward, and outward. And using a super light hand helps too. So then take your cream brush and then you're just going to go over that area and again, soft hands. And you're just softening up that look. And then you can kind of pull upward like this. And that'll soften that crease. So it doesn't look like you, it like just stops. It's gonna be blended really easily and really well. And the liquid eyeshadows are incredible if you have hooded or you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your eyes because it does not crease does not smudge it does not come off unless you're using a makeup remover wipe for mine i love the shine cloths or the cleansing cloths i think they're called now and then you can make it just a touch darker if you're wanting and then always blend just like so but out of all of the colors i think this one might be one of my favorites it's such a soft, like rusty red brown. <laughs> so pretty, isn't that gorgeous? As soon as I get for more, yay! Awesome, you're gonna love it. This is the color Willed. And it's not matte, but it's not like shimmer either. It's almost like a satin finish. Do you know how much the brow comb is? I don't off the top of my head. I think it might be like $15. Yes, we are, Nikki. Love watching and learning from you. Awesome, Paige. Welcome. 
Okay, so now that we have our liquid eyeshadow on, now it's important to blend. So we're gonna take that fluffy crease brush again, and now I'm gonna kind of mix these two colors together, which was astute and gingerly, so just kind of tapping in those. Swirl in, and then you're just gonna very light hand, so take note of where I'm holding my brush, and you're just going to very lightly just kind of dust this over, and just kind of blending it all out. And then I'm gonna switch brushes, and I'm gonna take the, not that one, the blending brush by Unique. This is nothing on it. And you're just going to drag this along the outer corner, which will just soften it up just like this. And then same thing on this side. Just soften the outer line, which will make it look much softer, much more blended, much more melted, which is exactly what we want. All right, so now to make it look like a cohesive, finished, almost kind of smokier look, I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is by Morphe. It's a 432 brush. I'm gonna take the shade Gullible and just tap it in that color. And I'm gonna actually take a little bit of Gingerly as well. And now we're just going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. So wherever your lashes end, you're just gonna go right underneath those and just drag it. So this is also actually gonna smoke out the eyeliner but it's just gonna give it more of a finished look and it's also gonna open up your eyes, making them appear larger. So I'll show you the difference here in one second. After we draw, drag that. All right, see how this side kind of looks like we're missing something and this side really looks completed. Also makes your eye look a lot larger as well. Isn't that amazing? Yes, yeah, so you can apply it lighter as well. Uh, very pretty, but my husband would never want me to wear my eyeshadow that bold. So you don't have to at all. This is just inspiration. There are lighter colors, like the shade Reverent or Giggly. Those ones are like lighter pink colors, which really open up your eyes, and they're not like harsh colors. But you can always reference all of the different makeup tutorials that I've done. I've done stuff that's more subtle. I've done stuff that's more bold. I try to try to do a little bit of everything to give you all good inspiration. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you scroll through my Facebook. If you go to Rhea Hope and you scroll down, I have all of my tutorials saved. Uh, oh, I already did them. Okay, so now that our eyes are done, now we need to add our mascara. So what I do is I, before I set it, I always take like an empty brush and you can just sweep away any thing that fell and then you're gonna take your blending bud, the one that you used for your foundation, and you can very like quickly and firmly just dab this underneath the lower lash line. And this is gonna pick up any eyeshadow that fell, but it's also gonna kind of sharpen that area up, which is nice. Thank you. What did what did you do, liner brush in? So that was gullible, that color. All right, so now we're gonna set our makeup with the Touch Bold Setting Spray. All right, so this is gonna take away the makeup-y look. It's gonna take away the powdery look. It makes everything look super flawless and last all day. It also helps to prevent any transferring on your phone or when you hug people. So if you haven't been setting your makeup, highly recommend to do so. It really changes the outcome of how, how it looks and how it lasts throughout the day. So once we've set that, now we're gonna go with our mascara. Another reason that I set my makeup before I do my mascara is not only does it prevent it from being wet after I'm done and can risk transferring, but it also preps my eyelashes, making my mascara stay on and look bolder. So first thing we're gonna do is go in with the lash, the uh, lash primer, which comes in this month's Kudos. It's brand spanking new. And we're gonna use this first from the base of the lash all the way up, and this helps to curl your lashes. So if you have straighter lashes, you're gonna love this product. It also helps to prime your lashes, so it's making your mascara look bolder, look longer, and it holds it in place. So if you have any flaking happening, I would recommend to definitely take note of how I'm applying it, but definitely make sure that you pick up the lash primer. So just at the base of the lash, that's all you want to do. On my eyes, I have on the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Willed and Gingerly and Astute Press Eyeshadows. All right, so now for 4D. You're just gonna go from the base of the lash all the way up like this on both sides. And I kind of work from side to side. So I'll work from the inner corner to the outer corner and then the mid. So each section gets its own attention. And then I just kind of dust it on the tips and the mids. Like that. And then make sure you're blinking when you're putting it on. I find that really, really helps like apply it 
intentionally. So kind of blinking, forcing your lashes down onto the wand helps. Look at that, amazing. They're literally touching my eyebrows. <laughs> These are settings for before and after makeup, and so last forever. Oh, I love that. I know, isn't this eye look really pretty? I really like this color. It's really good for fall, especially too. All right, and you could do as many coats of this as you want. It's totally buildable. All right, so now that we have our mascara on, one eye, now we'll do the other. So again, working in like quadrants of your lashes. So outer, middle, inward, and the mid to the ends, and then kind of dusting behind the lashes like this. Like that. Yes, astute, gingerly are in the crease, and then I have on the shade Willed on the lid, which is the liquid eyeshadow, which comes on sale in this month's kudos. Are you seeing California? Yes, we are. I know, I really agree. I think these colors are like made for each other. And I'll put the full product list in the comments after I get off. And I also always upload my makeup look onto the looks tab on my website, which if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. It's such a cool feature. So you go to my website and then you'll go to looks, which is under the menu. And you'll just click on um, the search bar. So you just type in Rhea Hope, all one word, and all of my makeup looks will come up. And you can see the... Um, you could see the makeup tutorial with it as well as the finished look and the full product list. All right, so now that we have our eyes done, that's so pretty. I love this color, oh, it's so good. All right, so now for one of my favorite lip looks. Looks good on everyone. It's super creamy and hydrating and it has really, really good hold. So first thing, you guys, can you tell us my favorite lip liner? So Prudent. So important to line your lips before doing your lipstick. It helps prolong the wear of it throughout the day, helps to keep it from bleeding, and also makes your lips look plump. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start where your lip line is. So right there, you're gonna stick the pencil, and then you're just gonna follow the natural shape of your lips. Just like so. And then here on the top, And these are so creamy, they glide right on. And they're pretty dang smudge proof. Okay. And then once you're done, make sure it's even. And then I always kind of fill in when I'm using this lipstick color, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. So we're gonna fill it in. Just like so. Okay, so once you've filled in your lips, and the reason that we do that is because this color is kind of like this really pretty matte peachy pink. Not super pretty just by itself. But the color that we're gonna go with the lipstick is more of a pastel. So when you mix them together, you get like this perfect nude color. It's, it doesn't wash you out. It's not too pink, it's not too nude. It's absolutely perfect. Yes, we do make a lip stain and it is good, like really good. I got the lip liner tip. Yes, don't, I know, isn't it crazy how much fuller they look? So if Sisterly is out of stock, I would grab the shade Supple. But yes, it absolutely will be restocked. All right, so now we're gonna take this color, which is the shade Upscale, which is one of my faves. And when you pair it together with Prudent, you get the most gorgeous pinky nude. Isn't that so gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So now, last step, we're gonna take the lip gloss in the shade Lux and pop that right on top. So hydrating, makes your lips look so plump. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love it. So that's a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys haven't yet grabbed this month's kudos, definitely do so. You get two of these, uh, two liquid eyeshadows, and then you get the 4D mascara and the lash primer. So you get all four things, plus you get the purse that looks exactly like a Chanel bag, um, all for 80. And then if you are wanting to try any of the foundation, make sure that you message me so I can give you a full recommendation 
according to what your preference is. So if you like um, full coverage, light coverage, matte, dewy, whatever, just message me. Aw, thanks Martha, that's so sweet of you. I had to go back to work. So eyeshadow color, we did the shades Astute, Gingerly, and Gullible. So on, just basically around the eye. And then on the eye, I used the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Willed, which is this gorgeous, like, rustic brown red color. <laughs> but it's really, really pretty. Smudge proof, crease proof, sign me up. So message me if you guys need any recommendations at all. Be sure to go to my website right here to shop, rayahopebeauty.com. If you can't find anything or you're having any issues with the website, just shoot me a message and I can send you the direct link. Um, but yeah, I'm here to help you guys. So make sure that you message me. I know, doesn't it uh, blend really easy? So good. All right, so I hope to see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna pop over on Instagram after this to give you guys full outfit details. So I'll see you over there next. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.